Hello, my Stalker. name is Thomas Südbrecker. I like to learn and I like to share what I've learned. And that's the reason why we're here. I write some blog posts and sometimes I also create some videos. And today I also create a video. I wrote a blog post about getting started with local AI agents in the Watson X Orchestrate Developer Edition. And that was only about very small to set up and how that works just to have a single point of entry and to have a very tight walkthrough. Yeah, so very simple, just show everything. And for me, it was also important that you know the architecture uh, behind that so that we interact when we work with uh, Watson Orchestrate locally in the Developer Edition that we here use the functionality that we just um, use the models from Watson XA and we do not have a direct remote connection to Watson X Orchestrate in that situation. But today it is about a new functionality called Flow Editor. So, and that is the objective. I like that new functionality and that motivates me just to create that short video. I don't want to focus on big functionalities. I just want to show you how that works without um, the focus on agents so much. Yeah, so it's just about using it and see how that works. At the moment, I run here on a local machine here my Watson X Orchestrate, as you can see here. I have that to run here. How that works, you can go through my um, developer uh, <laughs> blog post and also for the doc in the doc documentation if you want. And here I want to show you how to get to that new functionality. So uh, when you go to actions, no, not actions, it was agents, <laughs> sorry, not actions, agents, and you um, go to tools and then you can say here create a tool and then you see the create a new flow. And that is about the flows are tools at the moment, what we do, what we see here. There are a lot of changes happening at the moment because that was not available when I wrote that blog post and that is not too long ago when I wrote that. So there's a lot of progress to come and that is I want to, to show you. One is here, you can access that, but there is also another way to access that. And that is the reason why we now go to build an agent and adding a tool. And that is what we will do now. So that can be done independently. Yeah, but we do that in the context of building an agent. So we now create a new agent, very simple. And that is really a very simple agent. And I call that is the counter agent. As I said, it is not really about a use case, yeah, it is only about how that works. So there we say here a counter, and once again, <laughs> that is not good prompting. It is not a very good, uh, it's not a good example for agents. It's just about to see how that works and how to get to that flow and do an easy implementation in a flow. So we say here, okay, counter, we create that from scratch. And that is here inside the UI. We can test that um, agent directly here in the uh, in the preview. And you can also see here uh, new functionalities as preview like channels. So, oh, but I will not go through that. Yeah, <laughs> but I want to show you there's a lot of progress what you can currently see. So uh, we will not uh, add uh, knowledge resources. We only focusing on the tool stuff. So, and now we add a tool. So here we go to create a new flow. Now we are in the flow editor and that you can see that uh, it will be a tool at the end. Yeah, so what we implement, we implement here that uh, flow here inside in that tool. And then we call that is the uh, simple counter. That is our uh, name of the tool. Yeah, and we define one input for that tool. And that tool has one input here. And uh, that is the counter input. The objective is that we just increment um, that input, yeah, which is, oh, which is an integer. So there we have here number. So, and that is what we're doing. We save that here. And don't forget when you're writing tools, and again, I know that is not a good example. So that is 
uh, normally a, a good description how everything should work and how the agent should use that tool and what are the parameters for and so on that the agent really can select that item. But yeah, it works even if it's so small uh, definition, yeah, for that situation. Well, I, I double checked that before. <laughs> so, and now um, we're going to insert here um, a code block, for example. And that code block is then we have um, here for sure an input, but then we have also here an output. Yeah. And when we have here that um, that output, so let, let me see here. Uh, it, uh, to, so we add that. This is increment counter. So when we go here and we define one output directly for, yeah, for that code block that is now the increment for that code block. So that um, is the counter output, select the type, so the counter output, can save here, and ah, oh, see, I want to change that. In Yeah. So, sure, no. that's here. And now we just say um, we have here the, the output counter, yeah, and there is the input. We get directly from the, from the input for the entire flow. So, and then when we go here and we say plus one, okay, just for integrate one, but at the end, there will be also a flow output. And at the moment, we do we see there is a zero output. So that means that goes here along. And you also should describe here in our, that we have here an output, that we provide here an output. And we can see here on that level, uh, here we have also a counter output. So that are two levels, yeah. So don't forget that are two levels. We have the output, yeah, inside here. So that is that output. So that is the output from self here of the um, yeah code snippet we have here, and that is the output from the entire flow. So then we can say done. Okay. Uh, what is nice also here, now you can also uh, div uh, have different styles, how the agent architecture, the, the, the system prompt, basic system prompt works for the agent. So we have, uh, we just take here the default first, and then we can see here, for example, uh, can you mean element counter? So. Let me see. Oh, did that work? Uh, yeah, uh, something works. Takes a little bit. And yeah. So let's see also here, not the past hours. And that is what you what you know. We can also have some information here directly. So that is also good when you test that, that you have it directly. You have that with lung views. You can directly inspect what you have done. Yeah. So, and now we can take a look here in, yeah. So that was the starting point. Yeah. You can, then we have the agent router. Yeah. Agent itself was invoked. Then we have the tool. Yeah. And the simple counter and so on. And what we also have, what is really nice, we have also the, the counter itself. We can also take a look into inside the code block, how the code plot works. Now that, that that's cool, right? So I like that really very much. And uh, yeah, let us just change to the React one. Yeah, so let's here to go to the React one and now change it and ask the same question. Can you increment the counter?
Oh, that that is interesting. So let's see what has happened here. Oh, processing the request. Let's see. Reasoning, it's reasoning. So that's a little bit different. Yeah. First step. And now that's a little bit okay, that's a little bit strange. Now it's three. Let's inspect what happens inside so that it's now three. Ah. Uh, mm-hmm. So okay. Was starting here. Was thinking and the action. Let's see here what was the thinking chat. Let's take a look here in that in increment counter. We see here all the details. Invoke the increment account as supervisor. Default was given. So I do not know what. Oh. But at the moment, what we can can see, why the counter is now three, maybe it uh, the, the the tool itself saves that state. So I'm not sure if that, yeah. So that was just surprising that. But that now we can inspect more in detail how that works. We have the, here the default value, and how is that invoked? Let us see that again. When the land graph, so was thinking the action. Let us take a look inside the action. Success, the tool in human graph step in action. So at the moment, so we see the processing the request and the input. Oh, we have here the input, human input. The content is one. Ah, you can see we got it. Yeah, cool. And I, I think that is exactly ah, if you're wondering why that happens. So it is good to have that. Yeah. To can inspect and now we know the reason for sure if that is the counter input yeah then we know okay why it's three and why doesn't it use uh the one but that's a different story that's a story about prompting and all that stuff and, and as i said it's not a perfect <laughs> example but it's a good example a little bit to understand and also also to figure out okay what are the reasons for why doesn't why has that failed and I think, uh, yeah, it is good to start. And for the local development, try it out. Try different styles um, of the agent. So what we have seen here. And that video is much shorter <laughs> than my usual videos. And I hope that was useful for you. And if you like it, then Give a like, yeah, and um, subscribe maybe when I do the next video. I do not know. Maybe you can also write me some suggestions uh, what I can create videos or which kind of videos you would like to have. If it fits to what I currently doing and what I what my objectives are, I will pick it up and I will create a video for you. Okay, see you Come next time. Bye. Thomas.